How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. I do want to apologize that first I am a little under the weather so if I sound stuffier or whatever the case may be, that's the case. Um, as we all know, summertime is coming up. Whether you're in Europe, in North America, anywhere in the world. Whether you're flying on Spirit, Frontier, Ryanair, any budget airline, you really don't want to go ahead and pay for a carry-on so you want to try and travel with a personal item. I recently did a video on my Wandered Provoke 31 liter. Uh, it was a V1, it's not a V2 unfortunately. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I packed that as a photographer, not a videographer, as a photographer for a solo trip that's, let's just say, between two to four days. All right, so the bag I'm gonna be using is this one here. It's the Wandered Provoke V1 as I stated for 31 liter. Roll top, let's get to it. All right guys, before we continue, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Share any feedback you have. But like we were saying earlier, whether you're flying Spirit, Frontier, or Ryanair, whether you're in North America, or in Europe, or Asia, etc., I'm gonna teach you how to pack as a photographer a personal item so you don't have to pay for any carry-ons or extra baggage. First things first, here's my Wanda Provoke 31 liter V1. I made a mistake in the previous video and said it was a V2, it is not. First things first, take this bad boy over, secret pocket, in here, I will put in my passport, back here, and my wallet. Once we pass TSA, I don't really need that until we get to the plane. Other than that, I can pay in the terminals with my Apple Pay if I do want to buy something. Up here in this top pocket, so it's easily accessible, I do carry a variety of stupid things. A pen, stickers, business cards, and an extra pen. Shout out to Zebra. Sponsor me. Hey, thanks. Put that stuff back in there. And sometimes I'll also put in here my AirPods, which are currently in my car, but that's where they'll go. Go ahead and lay it down. So this bag does open from the back. Unzip it there. You'll have a laptop and iPad compartment. In here, I will obviously put my laptop. For the sake of not unplugging my laptop and having to deal with all the disconnected hard drives and everything else, we'll take this little notebook as my laptop. Slide that right in there. I always take with me a Samsung T7 Shield. It not only protects anything that I store on here, but acts as a bigger storage bank for my laptop. I do have a one terabyte MacBook M3, but this is nice to have as it can take a beating. I do also record duplicates when I'm on a trip, so I'll save it directly to the MacBook's hard drive and to this remote SSD. Open up the camera section here. Got my three pockets. In here I have my usually my either my Mavic Pro 2 or my Sony F4 70 or 200. Depending on where I'm traveling to, if I know that there's a lot of drone restrictions, I will not even bother bringing my drone because it adds not only weight, but it's dead weight. Um, in here I'll carry the Tamron 1728 which is currently being used to film this video and in this pocket here which is pretty much all I ever use on trips is my Sony A7 Mark IV with a 2470G Master version 1. Little, little tidbits, I always pack my underwears in here so they'll be either below the drone or above it. And I can always pack around this lens. Not only that, but you're also able to pack around your camera to not only add more protection, but save space. Because mo the majority of your items will go into this pocket here, and it does expand. They'll try to get you at the counters, but you can definitely make sure it all fits. Last but not least, we'll close this up. This is a little padded cushion to not only provide you some more support in the back, but to protect all of your items inside of here. Little fun fact, this cube 
like in the previous video, does come out. So if you do, if you are bougie and you pay for a carry-on, you can take this out and this will be your personal item and the bag itself can be your carry-on. All right, in here, I always have a small rig SD card holder. Got three SD cards here, micros, a SIM slot, and a SIM, um, SIM, SIM card pin to open it up. That goes in there, and I do have a key slot to put my keys once I am out of my car. All right, we'll close this up. As a new addition, um, I haven't traveled yet with it. I do have the Osmo Pocket 3. I did buy some small carabiners. I'll link them below. They will usually clip onto here. If it wants to, there it goes. And that way it's on the bag and if something cool pops up instead of whipping out my cell phone, I have a stabilized camera. Great. Alrighty then. So, unlatch this. This rolls up and gives you a gnarly amount of space. All right, so I'll show you how that works. Let's say we're going for three to four days. Got four pairs of socks. Line the bad boys up on the bottom, making sure they're flat. So what do you need with some socks? You need some shirts. But bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Always represent. Bad boys, roll them up. Load the keto's, and they'll fit inside. I'm gonna see if I can show you how much space is left. So I can, we'll always pack in some more gym shorts. and you can't even tell a difference. So there is literally four days of clothing in this bag. Most of my camera gear, the tripod is in the car as well, but this opens up, you can put a tripod or a water bottle. I typically wouldn't take a tripod unless I'm really by myself. Usually nowadays, I will be flying with Lauren, so I have someone else to carry some extra stuff, or just take my own, take photos for me. Some other things I do bring, some ND filters, they will slide in here, in this pocket, right there and there. How could I forget? When you open up this pocket here, you still have space, you want to put one more undie? You can. But you've got space for three batteries. You go ahead, slap them in there. Three batteries, that zips up so they won't go everywhere. And there you go. So right there is the Wandered Provoke with four days of clothes camera gear. As a personal item, it can fly on every airline you can think of and you wouldn't have to pay any extra once again if you found this video helpful please subscribe like and comment and let me know what we can improve on in our videos thanks and have a great day